What's up, everyone? Bando here with another video of mine. And, to, to, and to, uh, 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 today we have the QAV ULX, and today is a build video. And today, as you can see, if you read the title of this video, we are going to be doing or putting on LEDs on the QAV ULX because I will be doing line of sight with this bad boy. And LEDs look pretty cool, right? So here's a QRV ULX. This is it facing forward. Pretend there's a little arrow right here. I want the blue LEDs to be in the front, bam, and the red LEDs to be in the back. So let's go and open the package up. Now make sure if you are going to use Palulu LEDs, make sure that you have um, a Palulu. If you're gonna use the vo Volo LEDs, my bad, uh, make sure you have a Palulu step-down voltage regulator because um, the the Volo LEDs can only handle up to 12 volts. So that means you have to have a 12 volt voltage regulator. Now make sure this says red. So these will be the red LEDs. You don't wanna mix them up because they look very identical to each other. Let's see, yeah, they're, they're pretty much, the, they look the same, so you don't want to mix that up. These are red and these are blue. Get out, there you go. All right, so here's the blue and here's the red. So the blue, as I said before, is in the front. So, as you can see, the blue's in the front. And lie it down on the motors, it's fine, it won't do any damage. And then you want to just line up the shot. Like that. So it should look somehow just like that. And um, what we're gonna do is, I, I'll see you guys outside and what we're going to be doing is putting solder on these things. And then, and then yeah, putting solder on them. And then we're going to attach it. And then we're gonna attach the wires and then solder it to place. So um, I'll see you guys outside. All right, so I'm back inside. I mean, outside, back outside. I can't even talk correctly. And as you can see, I put these things back in the bag because I don't want them. I don't want them to get all mixed up. So, put them over the LEDs, and then get your soldering iron. And. Put the solder on the positive and negative pads. Just like, just like so. Put a little more. Just make a little bubble, just like that. And same for the other pad. And there you go. So as you can see, I, there's solder on the pads. And now we want to do that for all of the pads, making sure you don't mix up the LEDs. And yeah, I'll see you guys back inside where we're going to actually fit and place the um, LEDs on the quad itself. So I'll see you guys back inside. All right, so I'm back inside, got everything, got put solder on the LEDs itself. So right now I got the red LEDs. And the red LEDs again will be on the back. So I'm gonna put it right here. Basically where the LEDs, I mean, right over where the e ESCs are. And then I'm just gonna simply take the pad, the nice double-sided tape already fitted for the Volo LEDs and Line it up. Oh, whoops, you can't see this. Line it up. Put pressure. And press it down just like that. And then you want to put push it down. And we'll take this, this off right here. Oh, well, yeah. If you have bigger fingernails, then I shouldn't say bit small. And then you want to place it right over the ESC but you want these pads right here facing into the quad itself because that is where we're gonna be attaching the wires. And just attach it 
like so. So there you go, it should look like that. You got your nice little LEDs on the quad. And now, put some pressure on it. And now you wanna do that for all the sides. And then I'll see you guys back outside. I mean, or inside, whatever. And where we're, and then we're going to be fitting all the wiring. So um, just do put um, put uh, attach the LEDs on the quad, and then I'll see you guys um, when I'm done doing that. All right. So I attached all the LEDs onto the quad with the double-sided tape provided. And now open up the bag of wire. So now. We are going to be connecting all those wires to aux 2, auxiliary 2, because that's the auxiliary that's connected to um, the Pululu. So these two wires, or ports, sorry. Um, now, yeah. Now you want to basically line up the shot, and you want to be connecting the positive right here. So positive right there, without further ado. Strip the wire, just like so. Twist it, and then outside, we're going to be so soldering it onto that positive wire. So yeah, I'll see you guys outside. All right, so I'm outside, and sorry that it's kind of dark. I have this lighting right here. Right here, this is your wire, by the way. This thing right here and then find the end and attach it to an alligator clip if you're using a pair of helping hands. Oh, sheesh. That was my solder spool. Not good, not good. Sorry about that. And you can see this. Do that. Soak it up with the solder. And put it to this side. Take the positive wire, which is currently on the floor. And then you want to soak that thing up with solder as well. Clean Again, clean the tip. Always need a clean tip. Helps with the flow of the solder. Solder, solder, whatever. Are you from Europe or are you from Morocco? Morocco, Morocco. Just attach it, just like so. Like so. Can make a little bubble. A little bubble. Now people are gonna be like, are you from the UK? Well, yeah, I'm not, I'm from Morka. From Mork. Okay. That's where a lot of people are too. They're from Morka. I think that's where this whole drone racing thing started, I guess, from Sharpo, Jarpo, Carlos. That's his full name. All right, so that's it. Should look like that. See the positive sign. God, it's all tangled. But if you can see, I cannot see. Um, if you can see, the plus is to the positive, and the negative is to the black. So it should look like that. And then now. What you can do is somehow you need to feed those two wires through the insides of the quad. So right in there, like so. Like so. And then pull it all the way out like that. So it should look like something like that. And then you want to solder them in place. So you should usually cut the wires, but I currently don't have the wire cutter, so I'm gonna get that, and then I'll see you guys when I have the cutters back. All right, so I got the clippers. All right, I already cut it, actually, behind the scenes. I should have a behind the scenes thing, you know? Anyways, cut the wires, gotta strip the wires, got fingernails. Man, it's getting dark. And then twist it. And then what out what you would usually do is solder these things in place. So go like bam and go like bam. But because it's so dark, I can't do that right now. And what I'm actually going to do is um heat shrink these things on on them. 
So basically what you want to do now is um trim all these all the wires and I'll see you guys back inside um where we're going to be attaching the what is it called? The the heat shrink on on the um LEDs basically to protect it from um water. Alright, so as you can see it's a huge mess because I got all the wires connected on in some sort of way. And um yeah, right now what we're going to what we're going to be doing is um we're gonna be unscrewing the each individual arm off and the reason for that is because we will be putting a piece of heat shrink on this guy. That way um and protects the um, what is it called the power just I mean your LEDs from like any water as well as um, just overall protection because as you can see this thing is not this is very wobbly and by putting another piece of heat drink it's just gonna make it uh, more secure so um, yeah you wanna take this screw off one individual screw that's a one So one screw, take that out. Now it should slide right out, just like so. So here's your arm itself, right here. So I'm actually gonna have to use the bigger heat shrink because this arm is fairly big. So you want to, I already uh, marked it. So just cut, trim it for your size and it should look like something like that. So it should look, look like that. And then you want to, sorry for the background noises. You want to put all the wires through the heat shrink. Just like so. And then um, it should look like that. And then you can take your heat gun right here and uh, heat shrink it. But before I do that, I'm just gonna make sure everything's lined up. This is how everything should look like, by the way. All the wires aren't being pinched or anything. And fire. Now this may take a while. It may take a while. depending how hot your heat gun is and finish it off with the low power setting just like so so as you can see everything is nice and tidy in this nice little kit and um, just make sure everything is good and everything is good so yay so yeah now i want to put heat drink on all of your arms and then i'll see you guys after um i'm finished with that Alrighty, so i got the heat drink on it's nice and secured very secured as you can see and right now because we don't have to take the arms off anymore we can start putting some loctite or some thread locker this is um 242 blue thread locker from Loctite. Just put a little. If you have any, there you go. I'm running out from thread locker, guys. The world is gonna end. Get in there and then unscrew it. Just like so. And then just put a little of Loctite. You don't need a lot, just very little. Okay, that's a bit too much. Very little. And insert it, like so. And then follow through. And tighten it, not too tight, but just enough. So. There you have it. You want to do that for all four of these screws. And I'll see you guys next time where we actually get to be putting on these arm braces.
onto the actual motors. So I'll see you guys later. Alrighty, so I just got all the um, screws and added some Loctite to them. So now they're, it's pretty much impossible to get them off. But these are the, it is the blue Loctite. So don't get the red ones because if you get the red ones, then you won't be able to um, unscrew the frame. So um, now for the motors, let's see. Today we will be um, putting on these brace things. So that's the brace. This is the brace. We're gonna be using these braces. And so to put them on, you have, you basically configure it something like this, I believe. Yeah, configure it like that. So I will be taking off these two screws. No, I'm, I'm gonna be screwing them back on without any Loctite. And the reason for that is because um, um, I want to get the actual frame, like the whole form of the actual frame before I go ahead and, um, well, I want the braces to be on before I actually go and put Loctite in, just so I can see how it looks like. And then you want to use the long, longer screws included in the kit. And then where's my screwdriver? Right here. Just screw it a little in, not all the way because we have to take this one off. And screw it in place. So that's how it looks like. So we got one. So now we got to get the rest. So I'll see you guys after I got the whole brace um, done. Alrighty, so as you can see, it's a true X. That's why it's a square. And X plus, X plus, X plus, X plus X equals X. Um, so um, now just put Loctite on these and then I'm gonna do this after. You don't have to watch me put Loctite. And then I'll see you guys outside where we're going to be actually soldering um, the wires onto the PDB itself and then I'll see where we go I'll see what we can do after that cuz yeah we just have to solder this thing in place and then plug the battery in and hopefully nothing explodes so yeah I'll see you guys outside when we get to solder all right so I'm outside right now um it's a new day for me for you guys it's not um, I just soldered back on the ESCs, as you can see, but now we're supposed to solder the um, actual LEDs on the auxiliary, too. Now, just make sure you watch out, because right here, as you can see, I melt accidentally melted um, the, what is it called, the standoff a little. So, yeah, just make sure you don't do that, because that is not fun when that happens. So right now I'm just gonna solder the grounds right now. I already got two of them on. So I just need to get the rest. So just get the ground wire. And we're just basically stacking it on top of um, the, the power distribution. So stacking it. There you go. And then next one. There you go. So kind of have to sandwich it, something like that. Make sure all of them are connected. Nothing is like nothing bad is happening. And then now you just want to do that for um, the positive wires. And I'll see you guys back inside when we get to plug it in to see if anything is going to explode or not so make sure the the negative is the black wires and the positive is the red wires alrighty so I'm back inside and got everything soldered up so I got these two guys soldered up in a nice little sandwich and now it's a moment of truth let's see if anything will explode so I got my battery right here I'm just trying to untangle these wires. I got my battery right here. This is a four cell battery. Um, 
And the reason why I have a four cell is because I have a Palulu step down 12 volt voltage regulator, so these things won't explode. So take a deep breath. Please work, please work, please work, please work, please work. <gasps> oh yes, that thing exploded. And there you go. As you can see, you got your LEDs in the house. So let's go turn these lights off. Bam, look how dope fresh these look. They look pretty dope fresh, aren't, don't they? And because we got these LEDs, they actually illuminate um, the, the, because we, I mean, because we have um, this heat shrink around it, it actually illuminates all over the ESC, so it looks really cool. And helps with the line of sight, especially at night. So yeah, as you can see, it's perfect. It's kind of red. Uh, blue and then in the middle is purple, which is pretty cool. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. As you can see, this LEDs look pretty awesome. I'm so happy they worked out. Um, just make sure if you have trouble, like I used to have trouble with this, is you need to make sure all the pads are soldered onto the um, Palulu. Um, I actually had problems before, so what I what I did to fix that is I just opened it back up and then resoldered all the pins together. Um, desoldering, desoldering, taking all the solder and then putting the solder back on because sometimes it might not have a very good joint. But yeah, we have a nice piece of kit now. I'm so excited that it works. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. If you like this video, make sure you hit that. Hit that like button, and um, if you have any questions or comments or need help, like I, so if you have if you screwed up like I did before, um, leave in the descriptions below. I mean, leave it in the comments below. And yeah, if you want more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And tomorrow I will be doing a Lux flight controller video. I'm so hyped. That's the last step of the this build series is to put on the flight controller and then yeah you're pretty much done and yeah i can't wait to put my flight controller on and then starting that bad boy up and then yeah all we have to do is made in it so um yeah make sure you subscribe and that's the end of this video and i'll see you guys next time peace this is another test got your quad I'm in the what's up everyone bando here with another video of mine. Today we have the Q and the ULX in our hands. Close up. Quad light on. Quad light off. Quad. Sodded. Sodded, sodded, sodded.